Today we're going to be talking about fire cider, which is an old folk remedy health tonic. More to the point, I'm going to show you how to make it. I'm going to give you the formula, the ingredients, and the recipe. Now, all over YouTube, you can find this. That's the unfiltered apple cider vinegar and the raw unfiltered honey. Everybody knows about that. And these ingredients are in fire cider, but there's a lot more in fire cider than just these two ingredients. So let's see what all the ingredients are. Firstly, and most obviously, a quart of apple cider vinegar. And I've got the Bragg Organic here, raw, unfiltered. It doesn't matter what brand really you're using, but make sure it's raw and unfiltered. And you're going to need a quart. You're also going to need a ginger root. Get a real ginger root from your local market. You will also need a horseradish root. I do not recommend substituting this ingredient. Don't be tempted to use horseradish paste because all that is is mayonnaise with some horseradish powder in it. You might be tempted to do that. I know some people have been because they have a hard time finding the actual root. You're going to have to go to an Asian or a Hispanic market to find it. If not, go to eBay. You, you can find this online. It doesn't cost that much, but most markets are not going to carry the actual root. But I recommend using the real root on this. You will also need onion, a medium sized or a couple of small traditional onions. You will need some garlic cloves. You will need some jalapeno peppers. You will need a lemon or 100% lemon juice. I'm cheating a little bit here, but make sure it's 100% actual lemon juice if you do not have a lemon available. You will need turmeric powder. You will need cayenne pepper. You will need rosemary, dry or fresh. And finally, raw, unfiltered, natural honey. So now you have all your ingredients. Let's see how you should put it together. Okay, now that we know what the ingredients are, let's talk about how to put them together or more specifically, what is the actual recipe? One quarter teaspoon of cayenne powder, one tablespoon of turmeric powder, two tablespoons of rosemary, either dried or fresh, whatever you prefer, one half cup of finely chopped or grated ginger root, 10 finely chopped or crushed, if you want to crush them, that should be fine, garlic cloves, one medium or two small finely chopped onions, two finely chopped jalapeno peppers, one third cup of lemon juice or the equivalent in squeezed lemons if you got it. One entire bottle, that is 32 fluid ounces or one quart of raw unfiltered apple cider vinegar. And then one half cup of finely chopped or grated horseradish root. And if you've never worked with the horseradish root before, it's kind of like the onion. Uh, it has chemicals in it that when you chop it up, it's going to activate your mucous membranes. Your nose is going to run. Your eyes are going to water just like with an onion. If you're not used to that, chop it underwater. Also, horseradish root tends to be rather thick. It's going to be a lot harder to chop than the other ingredients. Now, you notice I didn't mention the honey yet. That's because the honey does not go in here. 
These ingredients will kill the natural bacteria in your raw, unfiltered honey. And that bacteria is what you want from it. So you do not add this until you're ready to use this. When you've got this all mixed together and it's time to drink it, that's when you put your honey in. Otherwise, this will kill the, the bacteria in your honey, which makes it nothing more than a sweetener. Now, when you have all of your ingredients mixed together, you should have a concoction that looks something like this. Take it and shake it up. Do not use this right away. What you're going to do is you're going to take your jar or jars and you're going to put them away in a cool, dark place like a kitchen cabinet. And every day for the next 30 days, take it out, give it a good shaking up, put it back and shut the drawer at least once a day. Shake it up and put it back cool dark place after 30 days have passed at least 30 days you're going to strain this into a different jar then you're going to take the remnants all the chunks and whatever's left over and squeeze them out put them in some cheesecloth and squeeze them out into your new jar then gulp it down. No, I'm kidding. Don't do that. That would be very bad for you. Just like with the apple cider vinegar recipe that everyone always shows you, take a tablespoon or two, put it in some hot water or some tea, and drink it like that. And that is when you're going to add your raw natural honey. If you put this in with these ingredients before you're ready to actually consume it, you kill the bacteria, which defeats the entire purpose of using the raw natural honey in the first place, unless you only wanted a sweetener. Folks, this mix is not for your average yellow belly sailor. And you know what happens to the yellow belly sailor, don't you? They shave his belly with a rusty razor. Don't be that guy. This stuff, it takes a strong palate to get used to it, but it has a lot of good health benefits. So... Suck it up, drink it down. So I hope that you found this to be a helpful alternative to just simply using apple cider vinegar. Like I said, that's only one ingredient in proper fire cider mix. I hope you found this fire cider video useful or helpful. If so, please click like down below. Please share and subscribe if you haven't already. We appreciate it. If you have any comments or other suggestions, please go ahead and post it in the comment section below. We do try to keep up with that. And also, some of our other viewers may be able to benefit from it if you have something constructive to add. So, once again, hope you found it helpful. Thanks for watching and hope to see you again soon.